Hello all, welcome to channel Tech Tutorials Learn by Doing. In this channel, we post tutorial videos on tools and technologies that are being used in IT industry. This tutorial series covers tutorial on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. So, let's get started for the day. In last video, we had created one web server using Ubuntu server. And we also had generated AMI image of that server. In this tutorial, we will use that AMI image in order to generate another identical web server. We will then use load balancer to distribute the traffic from user into those two web servers. So for that, I'll go to services and type EC2 here. Since I already have one AMA image, I will go to Instances, Launch Instance, and click on My AMA. This is the AMA that we had generated in our previous lab in public subnet. I should not change any other parameter since it can be restored from AMA. On tag, let us name as web server two, web server two, configure security group, jump server security group, review and launch, launch. I already have this keep here, so let's launch. We can see that the instance is in pending state till then we'll create a load balancer which will distribute the traffic from user into those two server evenly so for that i'll go to dashboard and click on load balancer so let's create a load balancer this is application load balancer so we'll click on create under application load balancer web server load balancer as a name I leave all other parameter as it is lab bpc it is in public subnet so let's configure security group security group we had already created one security group for our load balancer we can see that the security group was created in our PPC tutorial load balancer target group as a name for the target group keep all setting as default path as index.php since we had created one index.php in our last tutorial on register target we'll register two target you can see that both target are already running here click and review and create let's close the window we can see that the state is in provisioning state so let's again go to ec2 dashboard and click on the instances we can see that the instance is already running but instance check is initializing state so let's click if we can access or not from the web browser this is for web server 2 and let's click for web server 1 also this is for web server 1 we can that see that the ip has been printed for web server 2 also let's validate if ip is correct 10.0.0.65 10.0.0.65 and for, for web, first web server, it is 10.0.0.228. 10.0.0.228. So let's go to load balancer again and see if it has been in running state. It's still in provisioning state. So I'll pause this video for some time and again resume when it is in ready state. In refreshing, we can see that state is in already active. So let's copy the DNS name and see if it distribute the traffic to two web servers or not the first web server is 228 
and second web server is 65 so it should distribute traffic to both servers meaning that it should print 2 to 8 sometimes and 65 sometimes it's printing 2 to 8 let's refresh again 2 to 8 let's refresh 65 2 to 8 65 2 to 8 so it clarifies that the, our traffic has been distributed evenly to two different web servers that are in backend in real world scenario the two server will be identical server and there will not be any effect on serving from those two servers so it is for the lab Let's delete all the resources that have been created so that it won't charge extra cost so let's start from load balancer on action click on delete delete again on target group select and delete okay it's been deleted then let's go to ec2 dashboard we can see that instance is running here let's terminate these two instances terminate okay again let's go to ec2 dashboard let's refresh instance has already been terminated there is one snapshot and there are two volumes I think these are the volumes of those two instances and this will be deleted in short time if it is not deleted then we can manually delete also okay it's being deleted by the system it will be deleted automatically once the instances has been terminated the instances are terminated so let's refresh again we can see that the volume has been deleted we'll keep step sort for the now so that it will be easier for us in next tutorial on auto scaling then other parameter they do not cause extra size so let's leave them as it is so to summarize this lab we distribute the traffic to two different web servers from load balancer and we test it from our client also so that's for it today guys in next lesson we learn about auto scaling it will be similar to the production scenario where the server will scale up and scale down as per the demand and we'll also place those two servers in private subnets so that it won't be accessed from our client servers and it will be accessed only from jump servers so next lab it will be more related to the real world scenario and if you like my video click on like button and subscribe button so that you will not be missed on our future tutorials. Thank you.